Okay, so this is Wilco near Narva from South Africa. Um, this clip, original footage, is from the European tour. Um, he's top distance driving stats at the moment on over 340 yards average. So he creates loads and loads of speed, hits it miles, and he's quite a big prospect. So have a look at his swing. He's got long levers, winds up. He's all ready to go there at the top of his swing. And, you know, you can have a player where he gets amazing numbers on a launch monitor, good spin rate, good launch, great distance, et cetera, et cetera. But there can be concerns. And this is where a golf coach's role overlaps with a good S&C coach a bit as well, or a physio. I'm going to have a look at his left hip. When he starts to create force in the first movement, his downswing, that left hip drops. So his left knee, you'd expect that to be the first thing to move, but it's not the first thing to move. Actually, if his left hip and his hands and his right knee are the things to move first. So that's a concern in terms of injury long term. The other thing that's a slight concern is at impact when he transfers power from his legs to his top half. This is all great. When he needs to hold his pelvis area for his top half to wind through there's a big scrunch up into his back his belt line lifts up a lot now that's working for him because it helps him transfer power but you'd want long-term lipid stability and less stress on the back um, in order to vent, prevent um, injuries so just a couple of little points there uh, that I thought might be interesting cheers